and tell us a little about your, your workforce here. Yeah, we have, um, you know, we're, we've been in, in Saudi Arabia since uh, 1980. Uh, it's one of our important markets. We have uh, a, a fairly sophisticated collaboration, which is actually mostly on 6G with uh, uh, King Abdullah University for Science and Technology. It's actually very important for us because it's, act, it, it's, a, uh, it's a very good research program there that links into us. So for us, that's a very natural collaboration where we spend quite a lot of effort and we're very happy with the results uh, so far. And of course, it's all part of that journey. Another part which I think is, is very interesting is of the, uh, the people we have recruited the last four years, 40% are females. And that's where we make, uh, have made an extra effort and continue to make an effort. And all from this country? All from this country. And uh, that, uh, you've been coming here for a while, and as you say, uh, Ericsson's been here for a long time. Quite a change. It is a change. It's a dramatic change. And um, I may, maybe coming here several times a year, actually, the, the changes, normally when you come that often, you don't see them because they're gradual. But in this country, I would say the changes have been so fast that it's actually visible even when you come several times a year. And if you look ahead to LEAP next year and the years beyond, what are the changes you're expecting to see here? I mean, I, I, mean, they're, they're, I think Saudi established a vision 2030 that's very powerful that the country is investing for and so I'm, I'm convinced what we're going to see next year is, is a continued momentum on that curve, whether it is for uh, direct investments here, whether it is to build, you know, we can talk a bit about that, but, but build the digital skills in the economy. I think we're going to see a progression of those areas. And, and I certainly hope we're going to see progression on the digital infrastructure. And what, what do you mean by digital skills? What, what, what's lacking? I wouldn't say it's lacking, uh, but I, I, I think it, there is a shortage of digital skills globally. Uh, and that with that, I mean, you know, at the higher end, it's programmers, coders, system engineers, mm. etc. Uh, so a need to invest there is pretty obvious, and we, we need to invest in the whole world in these areas. I think we're going to see more people developed in that area here. But we may also see people starting to move into uh, the region from other countries because of the, the, the ecosystem that is starting to be formed here. 